Hi there, it's Pam Brosman here and in this December issue of Marketing Minute, I want to share with you, for those of you who are using Google+, I'm sure you've already heard the buzz out there that you are now able, instead of just having your own personal account, you are now able to have business accounts and they're called pages, very similar to fan pages on Facebook. Uh, another announcement is that they've linked in YouTube to Google+, but I will cover that in another video tutorial. So today Today is just a quick overview of showing you how easy it is to set up your own page. Now I highly recommend the same as with your Facebook fan pages, go and get your brand names even um, if you're in the middle of setting up a new brand, like I'm relaunching She Experts in a couple of months now and I'm really excited about it. So I went and secured She Experts, Magnetic Digital Marketing and Social Media Woman immediately so that nobody else can have that name. So what you want to do is, is you want to go into your Google Plus account and you want to go to the googleplus.google.com forward slash u forward slash zero forward slash pages. Now I'm in manage because I've already got three pages and when I go back to my landing page, this is where you'll see them. So Pam Brosman is my main account. It has a little drop down button now here that has my magnetic, my she experts and my social media woman. So that's where you will find them on your main page and then you can go in there and set up. I've just put photographs on each of them. I haven't gone into detail yet to add more information and I will do that. Uh, later on, but at the moment it was more important for me to secure them. So let's go back to the pages menu. So let's go to pages, manage your pages, and that'll take me to this page here. So you just want, as I said before, plus.google.com forward slash u forward slash zero forward slash pages and that will take you to where you can find the create page button. So I'm just going to create another page. Let me see. Create. Now you can do a local business, a product or a brand, a company or institution, arts or entertainment or other. So if you've got a bricks and mortar business then you'll probably choose this one. If you've got an online business then you're probably going to choose product or brand but if you've got a company, a registered company, um, then you might want to go under company. You will know which is the best one for you. I'm going to do one here under product and brand and I'm going to call it Millionaire Attitude because that is a new product of mine. Can't spell. A-T-T-I-T-U-D-E. Website optional. I'm going to send that at the moment to socialmediawoman.com Miss Millionaire, which is my Millionaire Attitude book. Select a category. I'm going to put this in product. And then your page will be publicly visible. Its content is appropriate for any Google user. Uh, any Google user. Mine's um, fine. And then I agree to the page's terms. And then you go create. It's very, very simple to do. And then once you've created your page, then you can go in and fill in a few more details. So custom my tagline, success is just an attitude. That's my tagline. And then profile picture, go and grab a profile picture. Um, select a photo from your computer. I'm not going to go and do that. So you can go and choose which is your photo picture that you want to put in there. Um, and then you go continue. You can just walk through it. Um, you can tell your circles about it, which I'm not going to do at this moment. Um, and then all I do is go finish. And my page is created. Just to show you how you can go back and edit later at a later date once you've secured your pages, just go back to your main page, click on the one, this is one we just created. And then just click on the name tag here. You can see now that I've added the book title from uh, uh, the chapter that I'm in, in the Millionaire Attitude with another 16 other women. So you click on there and then you can just edit whatever it says edit profile here. So if I wanted to change that because I've spelt that wrong, which I've just noticed here, there's one too many T's in there. So you take that out and you go save and that will fix that. If you want to change your tagline, which I noticed I didn't have another C in there, you just click on that and you can edit it. 
This is where you can do posts under this page. Nothing to edit there about. This is where you can put a little bit of an introduction. Make sure that you make this keyword rich because this will be being crawled by Google. So like you do with everything else, with your Facebook description, with your LinkedIn description, make sure it's keyword rich. Um, contact details and always, always, always put your website because the whole idea is to drive people from these so social pages into your own business. So put those details in there. Add some photos. Probably really great to add some product because this is a product and I'm going to be doing a whole um, series here for the Millionaire Attitude. I have a workbook and I'm running some events in the new year so I'll be adding some photos there and most importantly obviously you're going to be wanting to use some videos and you're going to be wanting to host them on YouTube and now that their YouTube is now linked into Google Plus then you'll be getting little bits of your real estate out there and driving traffic back to your website, your blog, wherever it is that you want to get better page rank and drive people into your funnel to opt in so that you can market to them over and over again. So once you've finished editing, you just click finished editing and that's it. Um, upload new videos. I'll upload some new videos there later on. And then if you want to, when you're ready and you're happy with it and it's all set up, then you can click on the share your page and it'll go out in your mainstream and other people will start coming and liking it and joining your page as they do um, and adding it to their circles like they do using Google Plus at the moment. There will be more things added like usual. It's almost like just having a Google Places to be able to market another way to market your brand and have a real estate. You can upload photographs you can upload video which I highly recommend you do and I'll go through that in some more tutorials that I'll be creating shortly once I start setting up my own pages but today I just wanted to make sure that you go and secure your Google pages name for your business and any products if you have separate websites for your products I highly recommend you get those pages too so that no one else can ride your brand in Google Plus. I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you again real soon.